episode in this video we will learn about how to uninstall and reinstall WordPress for troubleshooting. If your WordPress is not working properly or if there is something you cannot fix, reinstallation is the best option. Now in order to resolve this, log into your WordPress dashboard and then go to export section under tools. Now download this export file after clicking on all content. Now save this XML file in your local PC. Now log into your cPanel of the same WordPress website and then go to file manager section. Now compress this WP content folder which is present in WordPress installation directory. You can select zip archive for compression. Once it is compressed, download this wp-content.zip file in your local PC. Now select all of the files inside your WordPress installation and then click on delete. Now go to Softaculous app installer given inside cPanel. Now here via Softaculous just install your WordPress. Enter various credentials like the URL. You can remove in directory completely if you want to install it in your main URL. Now here enter your admin username, admin password and other details. Once you have filled up all the details, click on install. This will take a bit of time and then WordPress will be installed successfully. Now go to your downloaded WP content file in your local PC. Now select themes and upload folder and then compress it. Here you will find that two folders are compressed successfully into a single file. Now upload this compressed file in your WP content directory which is existing as your fresh installation. Once this file is uploaded, extract it. This will replace themes and uploads folder completely. After the files are extracted and replaced successfully, you will find that all your uploaded images and contents are present there. Now log into your newly installed WordPress dashboard and then go to import section. Now click on run importer. Now here browse your XML file from your local PC which was exported earlier in the first step. Now select the file and then click on upload file and import. You can also assign author here and then click on submit. Now you will find that all of the pages, posts, comments etc are live and visible in your website as your previous installation data.